On the build show today, we're talking electric tank water heaters. I've got three of them behind me that are all 50 gallon models, but there's huge differences in technology and performance in price and in long-term cost. This video is for you if you're replacing an older unit in your house or if you're building a brand new house. Let's unbox these and see the details. All right, before we unbox these, let me show you what we've got and give you the price ranges. This first one, standard electric 50 gallon. This has been used for decades in America. This is the least cost, 550 bucks, comes with a six year warranty. Next up is the Ream Marathon, about $1,100 for this, also a standard electric resistance, but this one, lifetime warranty, very interesting. I'll get into that in a minute. And the last and most expensive unit, this is a hybrid model, meaning it's a heat pump water heater. Still uses electricity, not gas. Still 50 gallons, but this one is gonna run about $1,500, and this one's got a 10-year warranty. So that being said, let's unbox all three of these, and I'm gonna get into the specifics on each one. All right, now that I'm sweating and we got these unboxed, let's take a deeper look now. The biggest thing we wanna look at first is the energy guide. This is gonna to start to tell the difference between these units. Remember, this is the standard electric model, about 550 bucks. Look at the annual energy cost, $419 in electricity that it's gonna to cost to run this unit. The other thing you'll notice on here is the first hour rating. I love that this is on the new energy guides. The older energy guides did not have that. And this one's gonna provide 63 gallons of hot water, meaning as the tank is draining, as you're taking showers, the tank is also heating. So you can actually provide more than 50 gallons in the very first hour. Let's compare the other model that's similar. This is the Marathon, which is also an electric resistance water heater. Interestingly enough, it's a little bit more on annual energy costs. I'm not quite sure why that is, because one of the big benefits of this unit is it's got super thick insulation and has very little energy loss. But because these are both electric resistance units, they do cost money and significantly more money, let's say, than a gas unit. And we're gonna see in a minute that that hybrid is very different. So look, look at the first hour rating on this one, 57, just slightly less, and the annual, annual energy cost, 428. Now here's where things get dramatic. Look at the annual energy cost on this, $110 a year for this 50 gallon electric tank. First hour delivery is a little bit lower though. This is a 53 gallon, but interestingly enough, this one is gonna run on a 15 amp breaker, meaning you could basically plug this unit into your standard electric outlet at your house. You don't need the 220 line like you need for these other units. Very interesting. And how does it able to give you such a low annual energy cost? It's because of the action to heat the water. This is a hybrid unit, which is basically a heat pump. So up here above the tank is basically a mini refrigerator. In the refrigerator at your house, have you ever noticed that there's hot air coming out of the bottom? It's taking the heat out of the inside of the refrigerator and dumping that heat into your house. This one works in opposite. It's gonna take the air from inside your garage or your attic or your basement, wherever it's located. It's gonna take the heat out of the air and put that heat into the tank. So instead of blowing hot like your refrigerator does, it's actually gonna blow cold air. Now this is a huge benefit for us if we're in the south. You know, if I had this unit in my garage here in Texas, I'd actually get a little bit of an air conditioning benefit from my garage, and that's a good place to locate a unit like this. Or if it was inside of my house in Texas in particular, I'm using the air conditioner nine or 10 months of the year, that can be a real benefit, although I may not love that benefit in January when it's cold out. Okay, a couple of the things that we wanna talk about on these units, uh, in particular, this hybrid heat pump unit, there is some additional maintenance that needs to happen. You've got a filter screen on this unit that's gonna to have to get cleaned out probably every two or three months, depending on how dusty the environment is. And then on all three of these tanks, you're gonna to wanna to flush them on an annual basis. All right, so let's close out the video looking at long-term costs. What do these units behind me cost in year one, in year five, in year 10? So first, let's do the math for year one. On this first unit, if you add in the cost to buy it plus its annual energy cost, we're just shy of $1,000. On the heat pump unit here, between the cost to purchase it 
in the first year energy, we're talking about a little over $1,600. And for the marathon unit, it's about $1,500 in the first year. Things get more interesting though as we go out to year five. Five years of both energy cost and the initial cost, here's what they look like, $2,600, $2,100 and $3,200. And then let's go out to 10 years and here's what the numbers look like. $4,700, $2,600 and $5,300. Very interesting. So at first this unit, when you first started watching the video, seemed pretty expensive. $1,000 more for this unit compared to this one right here. But five years later, it's half the cost to operate and install than that initial unit and even the marathon. Now what the story on the marathon doesn't tell you is that this initial unit with a six year warranty is probably gonna need to get replaced somewhere between year 10 and year 15. That's kind of an average. Certainly it could go a little bit more if you did an uh, anode upgrade, if you're flushing it regularly, but typically these units are gonna be replaced in 10 to 15. On the other hand, this marathon unit these guys should last, you know, 15, 20, maybe even 30 years. We've got a plastic tank. There's nothing to rust. There's no anode rod to replace. You need to annually maintain them, but you could go a long, long time. So what's the cost of not having to replace a unit after 10 or 15 years and letting it go twice as long? That could be a huge benefit for you, especially if you're planning a retirement house, let's say. Now, lastly, this heat pump unit, like I said, it's got a couple different models. And there's some side benefits besides just that annual energy cost. I love the fact that the output of this unit is dehumidified and cooled air. And I like the fact that a unit like this could help me go net zero. Let's say if I put a solar array on my house, that solar array is going to have a much, much easier time feeding the electricity for a tank like this that uses much less power than a tank like this. Guys, I hope today's video was useful for you. I'll have a link in the description to the couple videos that we talked about. We've cut a bunch of these units open over the years to see what's inside of them and see what they look like. So look for that video in the description. I've also got a playlist for a bunch of other water heater videos. We talk about this a lot because it's very interesting and hopefully you found this interesting. If you're not currently a subscriber to The Build Show, we publish every Tuesday and every Friday. So hit that subscribe button below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.